We've started the recording, so this is a game analysis of our game versus Eclipse Select from the uh, Eclipse uh, Spring Cup in Illinois. So uh, let's go. Okay, Maddie, that's fine for a clearance as we got under panic. But again, Maddie, you cleared the ball, 20 yards, bounced another 10, and Mickey's starting to move up, Ainsley's moving up, and Maddie, you're kind of sitting here. Okay, so we're starting to get a big gap behind our midfielders, and hopefully you guys can see this little mouse cursor because I can't draw on the screen yet. Um, but we're starting to have a big gap, right? And we need to make sure that if the ball moves up the field, our defense moves up the field and we keep our team compact. And Gwen, that can come from you. And again, I know Gwen's not here, but I'm talking to Gwen in case she uh, watches this later. But uh, Gwen or any goalkeeper, that can come from the goalkeeper too, pushing your defenders up. Okay, good pressure. I think that's Bella. Um, again, good pressure by Bella. And we talk about not diving in, but here it's okay to dive in and take a chance because we're in our attacking third. We're super far away from our goal. So taking a chance to win it here, if Bella happens to win it, she's in on goal. Okay, so that's that's okay taking a chance here. Being you need to, if Bella's going for the ball, you need to tuck in behind her a little bit to kind of fill this space. Again, Maddie, you can be a little bit tighter here too so that if this, I think she's number two, if she gets the ball, we can. she doesn't have time to turn. We can, get, we can pressure her. Good, good one touch, Ains. Again, one on one early in the game, we want we want Kendall to be running at or whoever our forward is. We want to run at their defenders, and this is this is good, Kenny. Come on, Mickey, good Mickey. And again, Mickey going into support is exactly what we need. Maddie should probably slide over here, and the ball's on this side. So Ainsley, as our weak side defender, will then come back a little bit as well. Still, Kendall. Yes, right idea. Hey, right idea. Again, right idea here on a one touch. If we can find Bella, we can find Matting, maybe use Ainsley to get it, get out. Look how crowded it is over here with five of their players in this little area. Good ball, right idea. Pressure, pressure. Okay, good step, Ains. That's good fine. Drop, Maddie. And again, right here, Maddie, again, when we talk about letting her breathe, I know Bean's facing up the field, but again, the second that you see Bean starting to turn towards you, you really need to drop off and probably drop off at an angle. So Gwen's another option back here to play too. Bean, this little pass into Ainsley doesn't do anything, right? Because Ainsley's surrounded by three Eclipse players. This is better to just trust your skill, turn away, use Maddie, use Gwen, use Mickey, or you take it yourself and dribble this way. Passing in, passing in Ainsley with Ainsley facing our goal is trouble. Drop Maddie to give some space. And away. Okay, you heard me yell away because we were under pressure and sometimes it's good to release pressure and hit that long ball down to the other side. But Mickey does a fantastic job here of just great skill. And she's off. Go on, Mickey. Go on, Mickey. Go on, Mickey. Go on, Mickey. Yes. Okay, as Mickey gets free down the sideline, we talk about our players believing that the cross is going to come in. But this is what we need to do a better job of because uh, Bella and Kenny, you guys are almost right on top of each other, right? And that means you're only covering this little space. You guys need to be seeing Mickey, seeing the defenders, seeing where the goal is, and seeing each other. So that you guys, with a little communication, maybe Bella, you send Kenny near post, and Bella, you take the slot, but we need to cover more ground. Well done, Mickey. Love that run. Yes, Bella. Love it. Good try. Okay, really good, really good pass by Bella. Receives a crosser body. Perfect. Right now, Bean, now that Bella's starting to face you, this is where you really got to be ready and on your toes. 
Okay. Ball comes in. Get a half shot on it, which is fine. It's good up. Good attempt. Good defense. Good step there. And that's fine. Just wait, Glenn. Wait till they drop. Wait till they drop. Okay. Kendall's in a good position here as our point player. Whenever a keeper has the ball, it's a good idea to find yourself in that center circle, central on the field. Good. good ball down the line, Ainsley. Yep, we'll take that. Go on, Bella. Get Good step. Really good step. Again, when we when we talk about when we when we call that a step, Mickey, as we've talked about, Mickey doesn't want to get beat behind her. That's her job. So she's in a decent position here to make sure that she beats number 17 to the dangerous space here. But she's in a position to also step up and intercept the pass if if she can read that pass is coming. And this is a really good job of stepping up. Good step. Kendall, you're good right there, Kenny. You're good. Stay. Good. Good. Relax, relax, confident. Great ball. Okay, again, good, good building up from the back. Again, I'm just going to rewind this a little bit to kind of show us all what's going on. Again, ball back to Gwen here is fine. Okay, that's fine. All right. Good composure by Gwen. Good ball into Mickey. Again, being in Bella, this is where you both need to be ready for the ball. And that means taking peeks over your shoulders so that you see Eclipse defenders and you see the space. But both of you kind of look like you're walking and you don't think the pass is going to come. And then when the pass comes, it catches you a little bit by surprise. Okay, received across your body, which is good. Way to win it back. Good skill. Good skill. To, and again, when we talk about play the way you're facing, right now, Bean can't see Ainsley or Bella or Kenny. Can't see up the field where we want to go. But Mickey sees everything. So Bean plays the way she's facing, and Mickey can play the way she's facing. And Mickey hits a really, really good one-touch to Ainsley. Relax, confident. Great ball. Okay, and now we're off. One, two, three versus three. And again, this ball, Ainsley, can come into Bella and – through to Kenny as an option. I think you tried to do that, Ains, which is good. Okay, that's a good run, Bean. That's fine. Michaela, fantastic one touch. Really good. No, thanks, Liv. Kenny in the box. Come on, Bella. Can you find it? Well done. Okay, and actually we're set up pretty well here for the corner. Again, they have zero attackers, so Maddie can get up. This is perfect for Maddie. Ainsley's up at the top of the box. Mickey's up at the top of the box. That's just fine. Good ball. Right idea. Go ahead. I came back and forth for 10 seconds over me. I used the whole machine. Good ball. Well done. Okay, so when we talk about having a sniffer, this is really why we this is really why we want a sniffer in case that ball comes flying in at the keeper, someone's there to bugger. Okay, and you see she bobbles it. And we want to have someone there to, to bury that. Maddie slide, Maddie slide. Again, you'll notice again our center midfielders. All right, two center midfielders, Bean and Bella. Look how close you guys are together. Again, one ball came this way. One of you should be here. One should be central. Always got to know where each other, where you, where you guys are, where your teammates are. Good, Mickey. And relax. Good. Good. Again, really good really steps good in there. Really good tackles. 
Good pressure. Good patience. Good time. Yes, Mickey. Good recovery. Good skill, Maddie. So again, Maddie, you know we've talked about this one before. And the camera doesn't quite catch it, but you do a bunch of really good stuff way over here. Bunch of hard stuff to get free. And now you're free with time and space. And you put the ball almost out the door, right? Or a simple pass to Bella, simple pass to Bean, or just carry it. And then Kenny can open up, Bella can open up if you're dribbling at them. The ball out here, I'm not sure. Maybe you thought that trash can right there was one of our players. Maybe I'll give you the benefit of the doubt with that. Um, then if that's the case, that's a good ball. Good step. I think that's Ainsley or Bean. Really good pressure. Again, good Maddie to drop. Uh, you know, I don't know. I guess we could ask. I don't even know what we do in Minnesota because again, we don't play here a lot. Whatever. If you want to talk to Mike and just see, just so we all know, that's fine too. Stop it. The offside line, the build out line, or the halfway line? Again, good dropping Maddie there. That's fine. Then really good support by Mickey as our week as our week back. And again, we talked about this this week when when the player is facing the player needs help the direction she's facing. So right now Maddie's shielding the ball and keeping it. Okay, she can't really go forward through the eclipse player. Watch Mickey just sprint into a support position. This could be you too, Gwen, as a goalkeeper. This could be you out here. But Mickey does a good job trying to help her teammate here. Now it could go to Mickey. And we can get out through Bella and out to Kenny. Either way. Find your own space. Where's Maddie? Good step, Maddie. And that was a good step and a good strong tackle. Good ball. Okay, now again, good tackle by Mickey. She's barely going to get the ball, so her choice is to let it go and give them a throw in right here or knock it down the line and send them 40 yards further back on the field. And in the event that it, was, it wasn't hit too hard but hit a little bit softer, Kenny might even get to it too. Okay, but that's the place to lose it, down in the corner, not right here. Again, I think now we have Sienna and Liv in midfield or Sienna and Bean. But again, we both go chasing after the ball and we lose two danger players. So again, we'll find out. That might be Bean. Bean, that should be back here, right? If you see Sienna pulling out. Right idea. It's okay. Drop early. Right idea. Bean waited 15 minutes to make a waffle. This is Bean's fantastic waffle. Let me find some space. Good choice. Okay, for our forwards, and I know we didn't do, we didn't, we talked a lot of, uh, we have a lot of need for improvement of our forwards. This is actually a pretty good run by Livy. Okay, Sienna's got time and space now. This is where, when our midfielder is facing up the field and has time and space and no one directly in front of her, that's our time for our forwards to activate and to move. Okay, and Liv chooses to pull away this way, which is fine. The, the other option might have been to sprint across the face of the defender this way with your hand out, and Sienna just plays the ball, one garbage can, two garbage cans, like we do in training, Push plays the ball through the garbage cans into the space behind. Let me find some space. Again, right now, Sienna, the ball could go into this space for Livy too. You can dribble or do what you did and keep possession of the ball, which is just fine. Good choice. And that's fine, Dutch, too. Mickey, we need you. As soon as the ball goes, is moving from Dutch to Maddie, you should be moving out wide because this is a space you want to get the ball in. And that'll put you almost, what, double as far away from the defender and away from pressure if you're getting the ball out here. Wider, Mickey. Come on, five. Midfielders, this is where we need a midfielder in here. I think, Bean, you're right here. Sienna, you're right here. Livy, 
your way over here. Again, I'm going to go back to when Dutch had the ball, just so that we can see the movement of our three midfielders and three attacking players. Again, right now, you're all here on this side because the ball's here. Dutch chooses to go to Maddie. We have to understand, we've talked about it a lot. We want to go around the back. We want to get out of trouble. But when as this ball's moving from Dutch to Maddie and Maddie to Mickey, the three of I believe the three of you are kind of walking. Where again, as that ball's moving across the field, you guys have to move across the field. And it's the job of our forward, Livy. It's job to get back to the middle and even on this side of the field. Right now, standing and walking, standing and going forward, coming over. But again, we need someone here, and our forward should be all the way into the middle by now. Okay, again, we still have Bean and Liv on the far side of the field. One of you might be okay there, but again, Livy should be in here. Okay, right by their defender or on this side of their defender, being tucked in a little bit. Yes. Good battle. Good battle. Good Santa. Again, Liv, ball's on this side of the field. You don't want, as this only point player, you don't want to be on this side of the field. You got to be in here. Good, Dutch. Go Good on, step, Dutch. Dutch. Come on, Liv. Okay. Again, not a, this is one of the first passes that we got through the garbage cans or pa between the garbage cans. Again, Livy, if you're in a better position here, you're onto this ball. A little softer pass, Mickey, and Sienna's on this ball. ball. Right Liv, you almost got to it from being out of position. If you're in position, that's a breakaway. Get away from Liv, cover. And again, Livy, you went way out here again. All right. Stay central. Ahead. Now you heard me, right? You heard me with with frustration as again, Bean and Sienna as our midfielders right now, Liv, Bean, and Sienna are all watching the ball. You're all ball watching. We want the other team to ball watch. We need to be aware of ourselves, of our of our teammates, of our opponents, and of the space. Okay, right now you're all three in a line, you get beat with one pass. If Bean's up, Sienna, you should be back in here. Maddie, you can control. Maybe call Sienna back. Mickey, I think you're back here. You can call and talk to your teammates. Make sure number two's picked up. This pass right here beats four of us. One, two, three, four. This pass beat four of our players. Okay. Good. And pressure. I'm not sure what happened. Okay. Good block. Really good block, Maddie. Okay, again, and this is what you this is what we need to do. Maybe, maybe a little patience here. Maybe Sienna took a chance, got beat. Sienna gets beat. The next defender has to step up and apply pressure while Sienna recovers. And this is looks like the girl's gonna shoot. Maddie, very brave. Sacrifices herself, block, takes the block Maddie. for the team. Well done. Good pressure by Mickey. Livia, stay central to start. Thank you. Come on, Sienna, open up. Sienna, work. Okay, and again, Sienna, you hear me say open up and work to get the ball. Again, that might just be moving back into space right here or using your body or your voice to demand the ball for Maddie. If you're just kind of standing there, Maddie doesn't know if you're really ready for the ball. But you're in plenty of space here with your skill to get the ball and do something dangerous. I think Livy's pointing with her hand. She wants the ball through. Perfect. Maddie's got time and space. She's got a good leg. We haven't really tried to play the ball in behind from way in the back yet. Good opportunity to try and do it. Good ball. Made a really good pass choice, good Maddie. Ball. Again, good. Play the way you're facing, Liv. Dutch touch touch was just a little heavy Dutch, right? You want to keep this a little closer to you. Your first touch just puts you in trouble. Just keep that a little closer to your body. But again, good recovery and way to bugger again. Patience. Okay, so and again, defenders get defenders obviously get picked on a lot when other teams score on us. But what I'm talking to Maddie about right here goes for everybody. And they beat 
all seven of us for the goal. Won't fall on one person, won't fall on, on a goalkeeper, but we all learn from mistakes. And when we talk about patience, this is Maddie or whoever's our center back has to understand we're two versus two. Okay. So if, if there's a die, if, if, if you dive in here and get beat, this girl's in on goal or it's a one, two versus Mickey. All right. So here's where it's got to be patient down low. Don't have to dive in. You just can't get beat behind you. Ainsley's recovering. Sienna's recovering. Bean's going to be recovering. Mickey's getting in a good position. Gwen will be more ready. And then it's not dangerous. Dive in here. And now she's in on goal. And it's one, two, three versus two. Or she takes a shot. And Gwen, notice on this shot, you kind of look flat footed. It's kind of like your feet don't move and you kind of just timber and fall over to try to get the ball instead of moving your feet and springing to try to dive to the ball like I know you can do because I've seen that a number of times. Ah, patience there. Okay, so let's just watch that build up one more time so that we understand about what's going on. Patience. Ah, patience there. Okay, good shot though, Lone in the corner. Good, keep it moving, just move it. Good. Good, that's fine. That's fine. Moving the ball quick. Good. Good choice. Again, cleaner touch on that ball, Liv. We need to keep possession. Good. Right idea. Okay, Coming that's fine to pressure there. Good choice, Maddie. Okay, and again, that's where, Livy, again, you're hanging out on this side of the field where if you're central, you can kind of read what's happening. As the ball's moving this way, you might be in that position to get the ball. Okay, so right now, the ball could go to Gwen, ball could go to Mickey, or again, Maddie chooses to play a little split pass there. Maybe Sienna, maybe Liv can be there with a little better positioning. Relax, relax, patience, good, good, good. Get away, Sienna, get away. Good idea. Okay, it's not a bad idea. Good idea. Look again, Maddie, look at Maddie, look at our space here again. Between you and their forward. Probably should be up here. Mickey should play and probably be up here. I know it opens up the space behind us a little bit, but again, that's where you read the game and you see if it if it looks like their player's gonna play a long ball, then you cheat a little bit and start to drop back. All right. But right now there's too much space and forwards will eventually be too good to have this much space. And we'll need to put them under pressure Mickey, early. Dropping, Again, we have four girls right here, Dutch, Livy, Bean, and Sienna. All right? Again, you need to be aware of where your teammates are. Andy, you got to get Bean or Sienna on number two. They've got to block that pass, right? Good pressure. Again, we forwards are our first line of defense. Got to work hard. We want to win the ball up in this area. Again, that's good spacing, Dutch. That's fine. And again, what do you think is going to happen? I, I don't really know for sure what's going to happen, but it looks like it's going to go Dutch, Maddie, Mickey. So again, what are we going to do? We're not going to hang out here, Livy or Bean. As this ball moves across, if that's what's going to happen, we're going to need you guys starting to move across the field. It's coming. Wider, Mickey. Wider. Wider now. Okay, not a bad ball across the top. One thing I'm going to point out here just to Mickey and to Maddie is, I know Mickey Mickey knows that I tell her a lot she needs to get in behind Maddie when Maddie's in trouble. Goes for all our wide backs behind our center back. But right here, Maddie's not really under a lot of pressure. So with a quick two touches, she could play the ball out wide. So instead of getting back here, Mickey, this is probably where she should have got out wide. So Maddie has an option to play here. Wider, wider now. Okay, if not, again, long ball over the top. Liv, we talked about this yesterday. I don't know if you can see yourself there, but we talked about this after the St. Croix game where right now you're just jumping up. 
I'm not sure if, I mean, you know you can't head the ball, right? So jumping up really does nothing. This ball is coming high, just turn and go, right? You're not going to jump up and even if it hits your body, it's going to rebound back out of bounds or back in this area. This is the one you're much better off letting the ball go and sprinting after it. So just watch yourself. Here's your little jump. Uh, yeah, might as well just sprint after it. As the ball's going from Dutch to Maddie, if she's got time and space, then you need to start getting wider early. Oh, we behind, just talked right? about that. If she's under pressure, you want to get behind her. Come on, Libby. Central, Med. Come on, Central. Good, Dutch. You got to shift over probably a little earlier. A little better spacing from us in terms of defending. Again, Liv and Sienna, you're both right there, though. Right? Good pressure, Dutch. Okay, what I like and I, what I've noticed this a couple times now with Liv and now with Sienna is, again, you can see right there that Sienna's arm is pointing. She wants the ball. That means she wants the ball into space, right? She wants Dutch to play it in front of her. Okay, it's, it's a good look, good request. Good, Dutchie. Well done, Hopefully well find Bean. Perfect. Again, now, we've done a lot of going back, going back, going around. And Bean, this ball to Maddie's fine, but if it starts to get predictable, understand that you can play to Mickey. And this isn't a square ball. We talk about not wanting to play a square ball. If Mickey was up here, that's a square pass across the field, and if it gets intercepted, you're both beat. But Mickey's behind you right now, so this pass is also an option as well. Good. Okay. Other side. Wider, Mickey. Wider. Good. Okay, good two touch, Maddie. Good try. Bean, yep, this way. Good. Now good. Bean did a good Sam. job of picking that one up. Okay. Right, if you just up. watch Bean's yeah. movement, she understands once we lose the ball, Bean. this is her responsibility. Good. Well done, Sienna. Well done. Fine. Libby D. Good job. Relax. Libby, get open. Well done. Good try. Fine. Taking players on in the attacking third, just fine. And again, we need to start to know our teammates. Sienna's got a long throw. So, and Sienna, if you're in a place where in this situation, if you think, if ever you think a teammate is too close and you can throw it farther than them or play them into space, you can wave them forward or wave them away and get them in the right position for how far you think you can throw it. But as we start to learn what our teammates' tendencies are and abilities are, we now start to understand who can throw the ball in at distance, and we want to take advantage of that. This is much better spacing from us. Okay? Much better. That probably should have been a foul. Looked like a little hip check and a shove. Yep. <laughs> Okay, well done, Bean. Okay, right there. That's probably where – I don't know if you're thinking about shooting or if you're trying to cross the ball. But, again, Livy, you're walking. Sienna, understandably, is moving slow because she just got hip-checked. But, again, Liv, got to get in here. You want to get in front of this defender. You want to beat this defender to any dangerous ball that's played in the area. Okay? And, Bean, right here, you can just trust your skill. Do one of your little pullbacks. Maybe do a step over and turn back. Find Mickey. And then we can play a little bit or take them on, Bean, right? Okay, good try. Maddie, Santa, can you find it? Santa, can you find it? So, can we, once the ref blows a whistle, can we get the ball back into play quick? Again, there, turned away from the ball, turned away from the ball, turned away from the ball, turned away from the ball. Maddie set it down, play into Sienna, and we go quickly. Find the ball. 
Livy, stay central. Oh, how many times have I said that, Liv? Dutchie, tuck in. She's not going to play it there, Dutch. Again, this is better, Maddie, here. At least we have pressure on her right away. Good block, Liv. That's fine, Dutch. Keep possession. A little heavy on the touch Tuck there, in, Maddie. Tuck in. Okay, good recovery, though, Maddie. Okay, Liv, a little more aggression to the ball here. Or at least we talk, and again, we've talked about this after Chicago, so you didn't really know the coaches were looking for this. But again, on the goal kicks, we want to mark up, and we want to make sure we get a body on the girl and don't give her a free control at the ball. That's free and she's able to get the ball down to her feet right away. Or even if she had a little body or a little pressure on her, her touch wouldn't have been that good. Good try, Ange. Well done. Okay. I like Kendall's positioning here as a weak side defender. Again, she doesn't need to be tight on the on on the eclipse player and her body position is she can see the player and the ball at the same time. Olivia, stay up. Come on, let go. Good ball. Again, there's Sienna's arm out. Where does she want it? Good outside of the foot pass to Livy. Good movement after the pass. Got that girl looking at the ball and losing Sienna. And Sienna moves into a dangerous space. And this pass, Livy, if you can find it a little in, in the seam right there into Sienna is the perfect pass. Good try. Well done. Good try. Well done, Sienna. Okay, and again, and Sienna scored a couple of goals like this just with, with some persistence and some just sniffing around the goal area, okay? Livy ball's kind of thrown in a little high, but again, it shows you the shows you what can happen if we put the ball in the danger area, which means in front of the goal. All right, this is kind of a little half volley. Okay, and Sienna could have stopped thinking, oh, the, the girl in orange who gets to use her hands is going to pick the ball up easily. But no, Sienna's pressure right in her face makes her a little nervous. She bobbles the ball. Sienna's in there for a tap in. Well done, Sienna. That's how you help the team. You can't run bean. We need one on the field. Good, Good choice. Good. Right, Not idea. right idea. Again, I'm saying the same thing I said in the game. But again, so Bella, here, Sienna's facing this direction. This is where she's going to need help. Libby, you're probably, no pun intended, probably eclipsed by this player. So she can't. You can't see the ball, so you're not an option. Bella, you need to probably back up, or better yet, move into this space. Or, Kendall, you can come up into this space and provide another option for Sienna. This is almost too close, Bella, and you're putting under pressure right away. Good. Okay. And I know you tried to pass back into Sienna in this space, which is fine. Just needs to be a little more accurate right. or a little better weight. Oh, that's fine, too. It's up to you. Good, Bella. Good step. Good, Bella. Yeah, that's good work rate, right, Liv. That's good work rate right to pressure as a forward. Maddie, you want it? Maddie, talk. He doesn't play pants. Liv plays in backwards pants. And Ainsley's normal. Go figure. Ainsley's a normal one in this group. Come on, Sienna, move. 
God. That's good win, Liv. Uh, not bad. Okay, see, and I, in the game, I was like, ah, I don't know about that shot. I just want to look at. Okay, again, your touch goes sideways a little bit here. Yeah, sideways, not forward. So your hips are facing out this way. Super difficult to get a quality shot in from this distance. Okay, I like the attitude. But again, this is probably one where you want to, especially with a player here too, keep turn away from pressure. Maybe find Kendall out here and we keep possession of the ball. Ah, uh, not bad. Come on, Libby, central, Liv. Central, come on. Good. Good pressure, good step, Kenny. Good ball. That was almost a really good, almost a really good goal. Right, really good step by Kenny here. Good pressure by Sienna. Good step by Kenny. Liv's getting forward. One touch pass between the two black garbage cans into the space. Uh, yep, Sienna's offside. Try right idea. Go I'm not sure what you're trying to do there. It looked like you're going to kick it hard back toward our goal. Luckily, Bella got her aims. got in the way. Again, Bella and Sienna, two two midfielders. Might be holding hands. You might be that close. Need to cover more ground. Again, still together. You got to, one of you has to recognize that the other midfielder is so close to you and then figure out a way to cover more ground. Central, Mick. Central, Mickey. Central. Bella and Sienna, look around. Good ball. Good ball. Okay, so I like, again, Kenny's looking. She's got her head up. She's looking. She's looking, Mickey, for you or for Sienna. Decides it's not on, chooses to dribble. Just fine. Okay? That's just fine. It's okay. Back early. Okay, good pressure, Mickey and Bella and Sienna. Okay, I like how we collapse a little bit, meaning we meaning we condense the space, we make it smaller, and we really put it under pressure. And then once we win the ball, we kind of bloom like a flower and we get big and we try to make use of the space. Again, right here, we need to be able to recognize a two versus one. All right, this should be a – we should at least get a goal-scoring opportunity out of it, if not a goal. Okay? 2v1, see any want to dribble, commit that player to either coming to you so you can play Mickey or worrying about Mickey and you can just dribble into goal. 2v1, great ball. Oh, good time. Okay, and Mickey, you almost – I think it's just a slip there. Oh, Looks like you would have just cut it back and hammered it on your left foot. This is a good try. Maddie, again, I'm going to point out just the space here. We need to be a little tighter, okay? Really good work from our forward to win the ball. Okay. It's not bad by Mickey. I don't mind the shot there. She's moving toward goal. It's on her stronger foot, even though it's at distance. Mickey could also be into Sienna, and you can go forward for a given goal. Or better yet, in this case, play into Sienna. Hold, hold, hold. You run an overlap. So it's you and Sienna versus this defender now. You play and you sprint into this position, and Sienna plays and you get it on your good foot. Oh, yeah. Five. Good goal. Uh, yeah, it wasn't a goal, but it was a good shot. Mickey, Mickey, you take the corner. There. Sienna, snipper. Sienna, snipper. Mickey's on it. Ladies, this is left 
put it snip it right Kenny go ahead you can get in Kenny we've got 2v1 here what you'll notice is we actually run this play pretty well and again this is left footed on this side Mickey plays in or Sienna releases Mickey plays in Sienna knocks it back Mickey shoots across his first time the issue is that once Sienna left the sniffer spot in the in front of the goal we didn't have any player there and you'll see what happens in a little That's bit. Good. We didn't have enough players there to attack. This is actually well done. Not bad. And we really only have Bella in there. Okay. Bad. Okay, not bad. We just need someone there when Santa leaves. Good tackle. Okay, up together if we go. Up together if we go. Up together if we go. Good pressure. <laughs> Time. Good try. All right, so. And we're going to start to address this a little bit more. The key here, Kenny, is to move as the ball moves. Right now, you'll see the ball moves to number seven, and then you kind of stand until number seven turns around and faces you. Then you put it under pressure. Where we want you to move as the ball moves so that she can't turn around. Or if she does, you're there to put pressure on her right away. Okay? So that ball starting to move right now. This is where we need that speed to close her down, okay? And your speed closing her down, when she hears your footsteps, she might touch the ball out of bounds in panic, okay? But right now, you start to move. Now she's faced you, and now she can, if, if she was a really, really good player, she could just knock the ball down the line here, and we're in trouble. Was someone can you chiming in? that again? Kendall, are, am I talking to you? Is that Kenny? Yeah. Okay, so... What, what we want here is to move as the ball moves, okay? So as let me just back up a little bit. So as this ball's moving, you should be closing, closing her down to put pressure on her as it's moving. We want to pressure her before she's able to turn. If we can keep their players facing their own goal, we're going to be in good shape, okay? So again, but instead she gets to turn, and now if she played this pass into here, for this player, we'd be in trouble. Okay, so just watch it in real time a little bit. But the Mark, point that you can come behind Kendall. Yes, Maddie can tuck in behind Kendall too, and Ainsley can push Maddie over. And we can forget about the player that's way over here because we don't have a player yet. We haven't played against a player from, that can play a ball from here all the way over to here in one pass. And if okay. we do find a player that can do that, that pass is going to take time in the air, and we can, again, move as the ball moves. Mm -hmm. So you want to be closing. Good back, Ainsley. Back, Bella. Back, Bella. Good, Maddie. Good choice. Okay. Again, right now, if we break, Bella, if you follow Dutch, Dutch is going one on one. They only have two defenders. Okay. And if we had a halftime, we would have probably tried to make an adjustment on how to how to take advantage of a two defender system. But again. We want to get to a point where we can recognize they have two defenders and we can find ways to beat it. Right now, Dutch, you can go one on one. I'm not, I can't remember what you do. You can go one on one, which is fine. That pass between the two black garbage cans into this space for Mickey to go on is also another option. Bella sprinting forward and playing into Bella's path is an option. You can go at this defender, Dutch. You can go at that defender, but there's plenty of options here. Yeah, Dutch, go. Again, good. Now it's a what? 2v1. Okay, now it's one, two versus one, assuming that you're going to be able to get by her, which you are already. 
So again, another opportunity where we call this numbers up, we want to be able to take advantage of. Okay, and Mickey, you're going to hear me yelling central because once Dutchie starts to move from a central position. Right now it's 2v1, but once Dutch starts to move outside away from goal, your job or the forward's job is to get in front of goal. And again, we want to get in, be able to get the ball in front of that defender. We don't want to hang out super wide because that's where Ainsley's coming and where Bella's coming. You're going to hear me say it again, Kendall. And Maddie, again, watching a little bit. Too much space for that player. Kenny, 30 yards behind supporting Dutch. Okay, as this ball goes forward... As the ball goes forward, again, Maddie's thinking we're doing hair, hair, maybe. I don't know what you're doing there, Maddie. But again, Kendall, you and Maddie are here. You guys need to be following the play up the field. Okay, you're both walking and watching. And the space in here is getting bigger and bigger. And now, again, as Dutch turns out of trouble, there's no one supporting her. Mark, I have a question. Yep. So when I'm in the middle, like over here, and Dutch has the ball, when she's going up. Oh, the hi, field. Mickey. I didn't know you were here. Hi. Hi. Okay. So go ahead, Mickey. So when Dutch is driven up the field, should I turn, like, walk toward her by the goal side, or should I just start going by the furthest, like, the central mid, the other central mid for defender? Are you talking about, like, right now or before this? Um, Before, I think. Okay, after this? Yeah, like when Dutch is dribbling up the field, should I keep on going straight or should I like try to help her? You so again, if if Dutch is going, if Dutch would have taken a touch straight toward goal up the field and it's two v one, you're okay. okay to kind of go straight up the field or maybe angle in a little bit. Okay. Toward goal, right? As Dutchy mm -hmm. goes wider, you as a single forward need to get in front of goal. You kind of stay out wide. Like a like a wide midfielder, where that point player needs to be dangerous in front of goal. Does okay. that make sense? Yeah. Maddie, you asked how to unmute yourself. Uh, if you're calling in from a phone, I'm not sure how you do it. I was able to talk to Bella's dad. Um, let's see. Oh, Maddie. I know how to do it. <laughs> you have to click this icon, Maddie. If you can. Wait, is it Mark? You have to click this little phone icon, Maddie, with your mouse or on your computer, and that'll allow you to talk. Yeah, Sienna, you're saying something? I was just going to tell Maddie how to do it, but no. Okay. Uh, hopefully, you'll figure it out, Maddie. Mark, Mark wouldn't Mickey get off, off sides if she would run straight? Yep, if and that's, would... a, that's a really good point that, again, Mickey's got to be watching the ball watching her teammate and watching this last line of defenders because if this if this uh, player steps up then yeah Mickey's going to be running into an offside position. Okay. So how would I prevent not getting like if I'm like how would I prevent not getting like how would I prevent to not, not, not going on the side. Yep, it's yeah. tough. If, if this last defender steps up then there's really nothing you can do except stop. Okay. Right. But again, as we get older, we're going to put that on to Dutch to realize that that last defender is stepping up and Dutch shouldn't pass okay. that ball. Dutch should actually okay. dribble. Okay. Yes, Liv, I can hear you. Yes. Hi. So, Mark, is it now? Wait, 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 wait. Am I in the field right now? <laughs> um, no. No. Um, so, what? Mark. I'm on the field. What? Okay, Livy, mute yourself until you have a question. Love you. Bye. Um, yes, Dutch. Know, Mark. Wait, no. Mark. Yep. Um, so I'm one v oneing that player, but so I was dribbling to at wide. It gets to we one, I think, and then like, sh should I go backwards more or should I just keep going forwards, forward and go across? Right now, you should be going toward goal and taking advantage of the 2v1. Your touches okay. take your touches take you outside, which is fine. 
Okay, which is fine. You're still 1v1 here now, but when we get our defenders supporting you, you'll also have options behind you. Okay. Mandela will be an option in here. Okay. This is fine. You can shoot that. You can take another touch and shoot it. That's fine. Okay. But that's fine. Good step. Okay, so again, it's why we have a, go a goalkeeper, right? We, we, we have breakdowns on the field, and we sometimes we need to rely on the goalkeeper for a big save. But again, this is what we're guilty of, ladies, that again, we haven't done a lot of work, but this is a great example. Bella's on the ball. Kendall's on the ball. Dutch is watching the ball. Mickey's watching the ball. Ainsley's watching the ball. Maddie's watching the ball. And we have no idea what's going on here. Okay? And this player does a really good job of just hitting a diagonal across the field. Doesn't kick it toward goal and let Gwen get it. That diagonal kills us. Okay? Because, again, we, we have no idea of what's going on over here. What should I do to help the team to, like, not let them do that? Like, not let the other player like I'm, Yeah. Okay. So, again, this is a great – ladies, this is a great question. This is a great question by Mickey. Okay. Right now, the ball's on this side of the field. All of us are watching the ball. Mickey is almost like our sweeper. Okay. Pretend we're going down the field this way now. Okay. So Mickey's, so well, Mickey, Mickey, Mickey is the one on the far side of the field that sees everything. So, Mickey, your job, you're not going to be able to get the ball, Mickey, but your okay. job is to Ainsley, Ainsley, back. Maddie, look over your shoulder. Okay, okay, Bella, drop. You can be encouraging and giving your teammates information even though you can't okay. touch the ball. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. And I have one more mind. What about yep, go ahead, Mickey. Go ahead, Mickey. So how would I – can you tell me how I would get better as a defender even though I'm like pretty good? Then, like, I still need some like pointer tips about that. Absolutely. And, and again, we, we all need pointer tips on it, right? And I yeah. think the more, the more that you guys are focused and looking at lessons like this, and, and we are going to do some more defending in practice and making sure that you guys are tuned in to understand some of these principles, it's going to be important. Okay. Okay. Liv, did you have a question? Um, well, I was trying to, um, I was trying to say that uh, I was trying to unmute Maddie. <laughs> did it work? Uh, I don't know. Let me show you guys. It says it says Maddie has Madigan has switched to telephone. Yeah, wait, I see that. Wait, I know how to. I know how to. I am using telephone yeah, too. Maddie, I, I can. Maddie, I can tell Maddie how to do it. No, Sienna, you're using okay, speaker. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and you just. Like, I can, Maddie, you just have to press the microphone. All right, not a big deal. I'm gonna mute you all. Okay, and chime in if you have a question so that we can get going with this. Kendall, Kendall, do you have a question? Yeah. Um, go ahead. Could, could like, Ainsley go, like, back by the yeah, player yeah, behind it. her and, like, go on goal side of her? Yes, and that's that's definitely what we would need from that weak side back, right? And actually, Ainsley, I think spots are right now, right? But this just happens too quick for Ainsley to recover. But this is, again, where we need to make sure that, yes, Ainsley should be back here. Mickey can help her do that. Maddie can be back in that position. Um, but yes, we need that. When, when I talk about needing to work on our weak side defending, this is what happens. And I, I, it comes from our goalkeeper, Gwen, as well. Gwen doesn't have to worry about the ball yet. She sees everything. She should be encouraging Ainsley to get back, Maddie to look over her shoulder, and just be aware of these players. But again, breakdowns are going to happen, ladies. We're all learning. This is actually a... This is actually, we can learn from this because this passes between two blue garbage cans into the space behind and sending this player through. If this pass would have been to this player's feet, Ma Maddie would have probably had a chance to make a play. Ainsley probably would have caught up there, but this ball's into space where the player can just run and we're all chasing. Oh. Again, Gwen, down low. She looks like a little tiger. She comes out and closes the angle. Her body's big. This is a big time save. Mark. Big time so, save. So way before that, go a bit before that, like when um, 
Um, yeah, right, right here. Like when they get the ball, um, then should Maddie get more out wide because like those two defenders get more forward, or should Ainsley go more wide, or should they stay like that? Well, it's it's got to be at least one of those two. It's either that we need the wide back back quicker or we need Maddie to hold to cover for that wide back. And ladies, you guys can play every position. If Maddie is starting to cover, she needs to be looking at the ball. But if Maddie's starting to cover the outside, Ainsley could sprint back and play center back for a while. Mark, but, so but, again, we, but again, hang on, hang on. But we're getting in trouble because we have two players also going toward one ball. Whereas if Bella goes, I go ball, then Kendall can drop. Or if Kenny goes, I says, I go ball, Bella can drop. And I see, so I see three players in a row. Kendall, I think Bella and Ainsley. Like, yep. so should Kendall or Be Bella, like, back up? Yep. Yep. And then kind of like, yep, should, that's, what, that's kind of what my point just was, is that one should go to the ball, one should back up. Did she no. There or should she go more out wide? Uh, yes. Who does? Ainsley. Yep. We. Yep. Ainsley should be should be back recovering back wide in this case. Correct. Okay. Um, what about um? Hello. Mark. Again, good save, good clearance. Mickey, you got to get to that ball, Mickey. That's the ball you got to win. I know she's like seven foot seven, okay. right? But this is the ball that you've got to win to help That's us keep one. possession. Okay. Okay. And Mickey's like tiny one inch person. Hey. <laughs> You're welcome. So I have a question about our corner kicks. Okay. Again, uh, we talked. Your average size. Okay, you guys are all muted again. This is the one that no, we're talking I, about. I'm Bella, unmuted. Bella's making. Unmuted. Did you, Bella, right now, she's facing away from goal. You don't have to win the ball. You don't have to win it. And if you kick her in the back of the legs, the ref's going to go tweet, and we're going to have to back up 10 yards, and they're going to get a free shot at us. This is where we need patience, okay? Patience, okay, now she's turned to face you with a really good turn. Okay, and that just just a little more patience there. And this one doesn't kill us as much because we have some players behind the ball. But again, we're just, this is just trying to recognize where, when, what, when the time calls for patience and when it calls for aggression. That's good patience, Maddie. And that's good by Kendall, not not sprinting to try to win the ball, just sprinting to get in the position and then using her athleticism to win the ball after a big touch. So I have a question How about much the time have we gone here? Okay, we've gone through 18 and a half minutes, and it's taken about the hour. So we got through half of this. LOL. Um, LOL, yeah. Um, okay, so I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop the meeting here um, just because we only – hang on. Hang on. Just because we only uh, wanted to go for about an hour. But I hope this was helpful to you guys. And I think I put an email to your parents earlier today. I've always been a big – supporter of video analysis, whether it was with the pro teams, whether it was with the youth teams that I coached, the high school teams, you can learn more in one hour of watching and listening. Muting all again. You can learn more in one hour of watching and listening than you can in four or five outdoor sessions. Okay. So I'm going to plan on doing this why a little you, more often. Why hang did on, you meet me? Hang on, because I'm talking. And I'm going to plan on doing this just a little bit, a, a, a little bit more if you guys find it beneficial. So I need you to, we'll talk at practice, but you can talk it over with your parents if this is something that you found beneficial or fun or enjoyable, and we can kind of go from there. But I'm going to stop this recording right now.